Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve kind of a classic problem of finding the distance from a point to a line, um, but we're going to use a lot of technology to do it. Um, so we're going to use the distance formula, and we're going to graph the distance um, as a function of the x-coordinate of the point at which this occurs. Um, so the first thing you really need to know if you're going to be able to do this, and so I'm just going to type it out, is that um, every point on the line can be written as x comma y, but we know that y is 4x minus 3, so x comma 4x minus 3. So every point on the line can be written as x comma 4x minus 3, and we want to find the distance between this point, which is kind of a generic point because it has x in it, and this point, negative 6, 2. So that's um, the thing that we're going to do first. So it's x comma 4x minus 3, and then negative 6, 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a calculator page. So doc 4 and calculator. And it's a distance, so I'm going to call it d of x. And then make sure you're outside of that parenthesis, and then do control and the templates to get colon equals. And the distance formula is the square root of and then it's x minus x um, squared plus y minus y squared. So um, I need to remember the point. So it's going to be parentheses. So remember, we said that the point was x comma 4x minus 3. So it's going to be x minus. I need to click over here to see um, the other point. So negative 6, 2. So it's x minus negative 6 squared plus... Um, the y-coordinate, which we said, so every point on the line is of the form x comma 4x minus 3. So this is the y-coordinate, 4x minus 3, and then 2. So um, the y-coordinate is 4x minus 3, and then minus 2, and squared. So you don't need parentheses around this, but uh, conceptually it might make more sense if I put them. So it's the change in x, so it's x minus negative 6. That's the change in x squared plus the change in y, so it's um, 4x minus 3 is the y-coordinate of the point on the line, minus 2, which is the y-coordinate of the point that we're looking for. I'm going to press enter, and it should say done. And it does. Um, and so now what I want to do is, if, if I were to do d of 0, what that's doing is it's finding the distance between um, the point, uh, the point is, I'm just going to type this, so negative 6, 2 is the point and then uh, the line that we're dealing with is x comma 4x minus 3. So y equals 4x minus 3. So if I let x equal 0, it gives me the point 0, negative 3. So really what I did by finding d of 0 is I found the distance between the point negative 6, 2 and the point 0, negative 3. So if I were to find that, let me find that really quickly. Uh, so it's negative 6 minus 0. There's no reason to type that. Plus uh, 2 minus negative 3. And then i got to square that. So that distance is a square root of 61. If I find d of 3, let's say. So d of 3 is going to be the distance between, again, negative 6, 2. And now what I'm doing is x comma 4x minus 3. But now I let x equal um, 3. So I've found the distance between negative 6, 2 and 3, 9. The calculator automatically figured it out for me just by telling it what the x-coordinate was. I told it the x-coordinate of the point on the line was 3. The calculator figured out that the y-coordinate should be 9. Then it used the distance formula to find the distance between them and got radical 130, which I'll compare again. So square root of, if I do parentheses, negative 6 minus 3 squared plus... Um, 2 minus 9 squared, and press enter, I get radical 130. So what's happening with this formula that I typed in way up here, d of x, it's giving, I'm giving it the x-coordinate of a point on the line, it's finding the y-coordinate, the corresponding y-coordinate, and then finding the distance between that point and the point negative 6, 2, which is what I wanted to solve in this problem, kind of. So going back to the problem, I want the, the distance from the point to the line. But distance means the minimum distance. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a graph page. So doc4 and then option4 is graph. 
and I'm actually going to graph the distance. So if I uh, if I go d of x, so it should be if I press var, I would see the list, and I could type d of x, but it's not working um, for me. It would work for you though. If you press the var key, which is right here, um, you'll get a list, and you can choose d. So d of x, I graph it. I don't see anything, so what I'm going to do is zoom out. Menu four, zoom out, click, click, and here I see the graph. So remember, what this graph is showing me is it's showing me the distance as a function of the x-coordinate of a point on the line. So um, when x is 0, I'm going to trace menu 5, graph trace. If x is 0, it gives me 7.810. So that's the distance between uh, the point on the line when x is 0 and the point 6, negative 2. Is that... What I really want to find though is I really want to find the minimum. So what I'm going to do is menu and then option six and option two takes me to minimum. I just need to click somewhere to the left of the minimum and then scroll over and click somewhere to the right. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to scroll here and I get this. So what this ordered pair is telling me is actually the answer to the question. So the ordered pair is telling me the X coordinate of the point on the line where the distance is a minimum and then it's telling me the distance. So when x is 0.823529, the distance between the point and the line is 7.03353. That's the smallest distance you're ever going to get. So that's the minimum distance. Um, and that's something we can do. We can always use our calculator to solve a problem like this. Uh, I'll do another one really quickly. So say that the problem involved finding the minimum distance between the point 0.25 and um, let's say that the line is y equals, uh, I don't know, 3x three, three plus 14. So the minimum distance between that. But I can write the ordered pair of any point on that line is x comma 3x plus 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define my distance function, d of x colon equals, so it's going to be a square root of parentheses, so it's x minus 2, and then I'm going to square it, plus um, 3x plus 14 is the y-coordinate, minus 5, and then square it, and it says done. So what I want to do is I want to find the minimum distance between the point 0.25 and the line y equals 3x plus 14. I'm going to add a graph page. I'm going to graph this distance function. And if I change, I'm going to zoom out, menu, and then four, and then four, zoom out. So you can see this is it. The minimum is right around there. If I menu six, two, so click to the left, drag, click to the right. So the minimum distance this time actually happens when the x coordinate is negative 2.5. And when the x-coordinate is negative 2.5, the distance, the minimum distance you'll ever get from that line to that point is 4.743. So that's a way that we can use our calculator to find this. Um, obviously, we can solve it algebraically by hand or using the calculator. Um, but this is kind of a neat application that if we didn't have a calculator, we wouldn't really be able to do. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.